Good to see you again. Thanks for coming to my channel. Um, I wanted to show you basically how I use two different planners in my whole planning system. Um, one of which is this Clever Fox bullet journal and the other one is this golden foil planner. Um, what's interesting about the golden foil planner is that it's actually something that is fully customizable. So it's a preset planner with, you know, all the weeks and the days and everything put into it. But what's really great about this specific planner is that you can customize it and add different layouts that you'd like or extra pages, um, such as notes or blank pages or dotted pages. Um, but they've actually come out with a bunch of new layouts and new pages and spreads that, um, I'm going to be doing a video on very soon. So if you want to see the first video of how I ordered mine and customized it, I'll link it below so you can check that out. And then what's also great about the Clever Fox planners is that they're really good quality bullet journals. Um, I've been using mine for a year now and I absolutely love it. It's a little bit smaller than the Lickstrom. I always pronounce that wrong. But what's great about it <clears throat> is that the paper quality is really thick and nice and smooth. So it's great to use markers in. It also has a pen loop, which I really, really love. And it's nice and compact and it also has three ribbons on it, which I really love. So anyways, enough about the planners how they look and feel. I want to show you why it is that I use two planners um, and that has just kind of organically become my system. Okay. Okay, so I'm actually doing this in my bedroom because um, downstairs my kids are being a little bit chaotic and crazy and I thought it'd be fun to just kind of show you this video because I've been wanting to do it for a while and so here we go. Um, so what I wanted to mention to you was basically why I use both of these. So for instance, with the bullet journal system, I really love that you can be super creative with it. That's kind of what drew me to bullet journaling in the first place. And so, um, you know, I can set up my goals pages, I can do my future log, I can um, do my really cool calendar. So I can really let out my creative juices. Um, when it comes to monthly spreads, I'm able to um, also add in things like my habit trackers, my mood trackers, things like that. And then when it comes to my spreads, I'm able to make something really beautiful and kind of just keep it going. So this is great. I also really use this for um, brainstorming. So for instance, I have I had an event for my daughter and so this is something that I could just kind of dump all the information that I needed, which was really, really good. Um, and so that's why I use this system so often. But there are certain weeks where I don't have time to do a spread and I just need to get stuff done, which is why this bullet journal or this planner comes in handy. Um, just to show you, it does also come with a year at a glance if you want to use it. Um, and then this is kind of just like a to-do list. And these are all things that I put in on my own and um, was able to kind of customize it. But for instance, um, let's jump ahead to these past recent weeks when I've been using it more heavily. Um, so you'll see that there's you know, several weeks that are empty because I was using my bullet journal those times. And so I would bounce back and forth between the two. Um, but then lately I've actually been using it quite a bit and have been using the the notes section to do sections a lot. Um, I did get a little bit creative with this spread, which was kind of nice. Um, but I have been using this quite often just because I do like to have the to-do lists. Um, this also has a habit tracker, which is really great. Um, I haven't set up mine for this week. This is this week's. Um, but I do kind of use it on occasion. And so that's kind of a quick rundown of how it is or why it is that I use the two systems. Um, they're both good enough to like take with me on the go if I need to. This one's a lot more compact, but this one has a really nice hard cover. So I really love that as well. Um, like I said, I did this video about a year ago and I'm actually going to be doing another one coming up soon of how I set up my new planner because they have a whole bunch of new spreads that they didn't have since my last video. So that'll be really cool. I'm gonna have that for you in about a week. And then for Clever Fox, I also have um, something really, really exciting coming up. Um, they have a new 
planner that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So I'm going to be showing that very, very soon. So I have two great planners that I love that I use simultaneously. And then I have two videos coming up about both of them, newest, greatest things that they have um, in store. So anyways, I hope you guys like this video. If you like, um, kind of review type videos like this let me know in the comments below if you use these any either of these planners let me know um, I also have a discount code for you for clever fox if you are interested in trying it out it's a great bullet journal I really really love it I highly recommend it um, so just look in the description box below and you'll see a discount code to get um, a nice little discount on your purchase so anyways I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next video bye Thank you.